Hi students, now we are going to explain the third type of measurement of a large distances. The name of the method is radar method or radar pulse method. Now this R-A-D-A-R, radar, it is an acronym. There is an expansion for this radar which is radio detection and ranging. So the full form of radar is radio detection and ranging. So what is meant by ranging? Ranging means to find the distance of an object from the observing point. We are going to use radio waves which is one type of electromagnetic waves. Okay. Now you can see this uh, type of uh, antenna, like a dish antenna it is. This is also the radar antenna. This radar antenna is having two electronic devices. One is called a transmitter. Okay, one is called a transmitter. And uh, transmitting means what? Sending. Sending. It is used to send uh, radio waves. So radio waves are sent towards a distant object like the aeroplane or a distant planet okay after hitting the target such as the aeroplane or some distant planet they will be reflected so the reflected radio pulses also will travel the same distance okay suppose if one way the distance traveled is d and return also it travels the same distance d so that the radio pulse or the radio waves sent by the transmitter it travels a distance d it falls on some objects like the aeroplane or icebergs in the ocean or some hills like the mount everest or distant planets okay or nearby planets like the mars and it returns back so while returning it travels the same distance d so that the total distance traveled by the radio pulse is d plus d is equal to 2d. This is sent by a device called as a transmitter. And the transmitter is provided with a timer circuit, a timer. So that how much time is taken by the radio waves to go and come back. The total time of journey can be recorded in the transmitter itself. So the time is measured by an instrument called the timer. This timer is uh, provided with the transmitter itself and also the radar is provided with another device which is called a receiver, okay. Receiver is another electronic device which is going to receive the radio pulse which is reflected from the targets such as the mountains, icebergs, aeroplanes and distant planets. So it's very simple students, the radar is a device which is having a transmitter and the receiver the transmitter is sending the radio waves or radio pulses which is falling on some distant objects and gets reflected so the reflected radio pulses are also received by the same radar understand the radar is having both the transmitter as well as the receiver and uh, common for this transmitter and receiver a timer circuit will be there and it will record the time taken by the radio pulse to go and return so here the total distance traveled is a d plus d this is very important so the distance traveled by the radio pulse is equal to 2d d plus d is equal to what the 2d and the time of travel okay time taken the time of travel is equal to t therefore velocity therefore what is the velocity of this radio pulse v v is equal to the total distance traveled divided by time taken or v into t this v into t is equal to 2d or the distance d is equal to v into t divided by 2 so by this formula we can find the distance of the aeroplane okay with respect to the radar so the distance of the aeroplane with respect to the radar can be found by using this formula d equal to v into t divided by 2 where v is the velocity of the radio waves and t is the time taken by the radio pulse to go and come back so that it is divided by 2 
Now, this type of radar is used in air traffic control management by in the airports and all it is used. This radar was invented during the Second World War. So, at that time it was used to find the position of the enemy flights or our own flights. Okay. Now, uh, we are going to solve a numerical problem based on this method. So, here is the problem. A radar signal is beamed towards a planet and its echo, the reflected wave is called echo. The echo is received 7 minutes later. That means, the time taken to go and come back is 7 minutes if the distance between the planet and the earth, that is small d, is 6.3 into 10 power 10 meter, calculate the speed of the signal. Okay, the velocity is asked. So, what is given here, first of all, the distance d is given. So, d is equal to 6.3 into 10 to the power of 10 meter. And the time taken is equal to 7 minutes. So, 7 minutes is equal to 7 into 60 seconds. 7 into 60 seconds. So, this is equal to 420 seconds. Now, by using this formula, D equal to B into T by 2. So, uh, D is, uh, or directly we can use, is it not directly this expression? B equal to 2 into D divided by T also we can use, uh, direct. So, B is equal to twice the distance divided by the time taken. So that this is 2 into 6.3 into 10 to the power of 10 divided by the time is 420. So this is 420. So if you multiply 6.3 into 2 means it is 12.6. Okay. So this is 12.6 into 10 to the power of 10 divided by 420. So, if you divide this uh, by using a calculator, 12.6, okay, 12.6 uh, divided by 420, so 420, so this is uh, coming as uh, 3 into 10 power 8, so this is equal to 3 into 10 to the power of uh, 8 uh, meter per second. So, this value 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second is the velocity of uh, light we have heard, is it not? So, this is uh, the velocity of light. So, from this we come to know that the radio waves also travel with a velocity equal to that of the light. So, another method, another method, uh, instead of radio pulse, uh, if you use uh, one special source of light called laser light, okay, then also we can find the distance uh, of a object, okay, far off object that is called as laser pulse method. So, whether it is light or radio pulse or any electromagnetic waves, they all travel at the same speed that is equal to 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Okay, students, now we have studied three methods of determining the large distances. The first method we have studied is triangulation method, the second method is the, the parallax method. And the third method is uh, the radio pulse method. I hope uh, you are thorough with all the three. Okay, fine.